I've been living with this uh, film, this idea for a film for um, a very long time. When I was 13 years old, I wrote a poem based on the on, on the Noah story. I ended up winning a contest, and um, and it just gave me the. Well, I started to be able to think of myself maybe as a writer. And uh, then when I was finishing my first film, Pi, I, I started to think about what would make a good next movie. And uh, it was very early in my career, but I started to think about Noah. Um, I didn't realize how big of an ordeal and a task that would be. It took me, uh, I guess, 14, 15 years of filmmaking to get to this point. So more than any film I've worked on, I think this, this one's been living with me since uh, way back. It's clearly an exciting time to, to return to biblical stories. You know, I, back when I was talking about first writing this about six, seven years ago, no one in Hollywood really understood what I was talking about. But it's been uh, 50 years since uh, anyone's made a biblical epic. And, uh, you know, VFX uh, and uh, the possibilities of how to make a film like that uh, have just exploded. And, and, and in reality, you know, uh, our original superheroes were... were characters in the Bible. So these are the original superhero stories, and it'll be very exciting for people who have forgotten how amazing these stories are. So I, I was really focused on making this film available for, um, you know, believers as well as non-believers. When I first started pitching the story to uh, the studio, um, you know, there was a lot of like, what, how are you going to do Noah? You know, because there's a lot of preconceptions about Noah. Guy with a long white beard, um, sandals and and a long robe set in a yellow desert and um, I realized that you know that there were a lot of expectations to break but if you look at at the actual story in this pre-diluvian time having the first rainbow having you know all these miracles happen the opportunity to build a world that was you know based on all the different clues and ideas that were in there but make it into a world onto itself was really exciting so you know the fact that the first rainbow happens makes you wonder if if there was even blue skies before before the flood happened. So it opened up our imaginations to imagine something very, very different and to try and do something. So me and the team started to create this fantastical world that wasn't a typical, cliched, um, biblical film, but was something new and unexpected for people. The Noah story is a very short story. Uh, it's, it's only a few paragraphs long. Uh, Noah doesn't even speak in... in in the Bible, but um, you know, of course, when you have Russell Crowe, you're going to have him talk somewhat. So we had to sort of look for clues to try and understand his character. Um, it talks about Noah being a righteous man, and after doing a lot of research on what righteous means, it we realized it was a balance between um, justice and mercy. And you know, as a parent, you can really understand that if, you, if you're too just with your child and you're too strict, and you can really mess up your child. If you're too merciful with your child, then they don't learn a lesson, and it could go bad in another way. So being a good parent is having a good balance of justice and mercy. And for us, that was sort of an understanding of what Noah's character might be, what righteousness might be. So Russell's character goes through a bunch of challenges and, and a long exploration trying to find that right balance of justice and mercy. When most people think about the Noah story, you know, they, we all know the kid's toy, you know. For, for hundreds of years, people have been building wooden boxes with animals two by two. But if you actually look at the story, it, it's a lot darker than that. It's a lot more intense than that. You know, in four stories from creation through the original sin, through uh, the first murder, and then to Noah, the creator goes from creating the world to wanting to, des to destroy it. So we really uh, worked hard on trying to understand what it must have been like to make that decision, to want to destroy your creation and start over again. And that was an important thing to try and dramatize and bring to life. In Noah, it's completely natural. I mean, there's a real, real strong family drama in the film, something people are not going to expect. And to bring that to life, you have to have real characters with real emotions. So even though these miracles are happening, and all the miracles of the story of Noah are represented in the film, we had to be really, really you know, careful to make sure that the characters were as real as possible and interacting with each other with truthful emotions. Casting the role of Noah is a very, very difficult thing to do. Um, there's a lot of expectations on what Noah is like, and 
you know, but once again, we wanted something very, very truthful. So we wanted to find someone who is absolutely undeniably, like you see him and you believe what he's doing. And there's few, you know, men out there that can pull that off. And Russell totally has integrity and truthfulness and strength um, and an assuredness that is, it's very rare. And you can buy him as, as a prophet. Noah um, in the film has his wife played by Jennifer Connelly, who I get to work with a second time. Um, I worked with her many, many years ago, and, and just to see how much she's she's matured as an actor and, and what her abilities are now, just to see the masterful skill she has on screen has been a great pleasure.